Good morning, good morning, everyone. And this is Totally Sassy P from the 803. I am here with a review of the Bell Collective, the cliffhanger, baby. Bell Collective Season 2, 3, Episode 3. Yeah. So we're going to start off where it left off, okay? It left off with um, Cliff, uh, Latrice, JJ, and Amanda at the M Bar. Mm hmm. JJ. Uh, met up with Amanda and Latrice. Um, before then, you guys saw where Cliff had went off um, on Latrice. Something had definitely happened um, that we were not privy to uh, because I just don't see Cliff going off this bad for no reason. Um, there is something that is missing and you can tell. Because it looks like Cliff was at his last end and he had enough. So I don't know what transpired, but I do know that something is happening between Cliff and Joshi because Joshi is now out of the house. So there had to be some kind of altercation or some kind of conversation or some kind of provocalization that went on in this, okay? Um... Cliff is sitting to the side. He refuses to be uh, filmed. He's pissed. Uh, Latrice, Amanda, and then Josh shows up. Uh, Josh is like, what's wrong with him? Um, and Latrice is like, uh-uh, this ain't it. Don't start. Um, she was, you know, ha having conversations with them. Josh says in his um, confessional that, Latrice used to be the fun girl. She used to be down for whatever. She was so outgoing before she met Cliff. Well, Joshy, she got married. Um, she's still fun and she still does whatever. But now she has a husband, okay? She can't be that fun girl to go whenever she wants to anymore. She has a husband. She has a whole responsibility. Um, Latrice talked about... Um, how you know uh cliff uh she is indebted she is committed to her marriage but sometimes she feels as if cliff is like her father uh, because her father was the same as cliff he her mother put up with it she was indebted to her marriage she was committed and he was the boss he was very over controlling demanding cliff uh is that way. He's old school. Now, Josh don't understand because evidently, like I said, something happened for Josh to get kicked out of the house. Um, he's telling Latrice, you know, I'm going, I'm not going in order, but they had a conversation. The, uh, Josh was telling Latrice, look, um, I was very hurt. Cliff was calling me names, out my name. Ain't no telling what Cliff called him. Um, he, she's saying he was more concerned about his job and their friendship. And uh, she was like, you, you know, your job, the goddess makes needs you. Um, you're the best at it. Um, I agree to disagree, but there's always somebody that's better. But um, her husband is going to come first. So Josh pretty much told her, well, don't come to me acting as if you want me to save you from this marriage by complaining about this marriage, just leave me out of it. Well, Josh, I don't think she was coming to you to save you because Latrice says she was just venting. There's a difference between venting and needing help, okay? And I think your mindset is because she was single at one time that, you know, um, she's in this mode of needing help because you're thinking in a single-minded way she is venting about ways to, uh, why her husband is the way he is instead of you trying to get her out and talking down on her husband you should give you know advice maybe to say hey maybe you need cliff need to talk you know just leave me out of it because you know how i feel about cliff but you are so snappy at the mouth you're so quick to come at Cliff and in his own home. You disrespected that man. So what do you expect, bro? I mean, come on. Um, so, yeah, that was a big scene. I think production made, it, made Cliff look bad. But all in actuality, I do believe 
that um, it was a big thing with Josh and um, Cliff. So we go to so Gucci. Um, she is eating healthy, and her and JJ are at the poolside. They're having some wine and some like oatmeal bars and stuff like that. And um, she was. Uh, JJ was kind of upset with his daughter because he found out his daughter was married on Facebook and pregnant. Um, he was telling so Gucci that, you know, he wanted the opportunity to meet the young man, you know, and to, you know, you know how dads are, chatted up with the young man, but he didn't get that opportunity. So, uh, so Gucci's daughter and um, JJ's daughter comes in star and he was telling her that. And Star was saying, well, you know how you can be sometimes. And um, I just, I was just scared of your reaction, okay? Um, but, you know, he get it and he's proud of her. He loves her. Um, and that was pretty much with that scene, okay? So it goes to Tambra. Tambra has a... Uh, a gig at the homecoming, okay, Mississippi State homecoming. Um, she ride, arrives with Quasi, and um, they are always together. Uh, she invited the girls. That's what she say now. She said, so Gucci showed up, but no one else showed up. So Gucci and her daughter showed up. So so Gucci was asking Tambra, oh, where is everybody? Where is everybody? So she was just asking, where is everyone? And then Tambra said, well, I invited everyone. I don't know where they are. And, um, you know, so Gucci's daughter said that Tambra and Quasi look more like a couple than a boss and an employee. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, poor um, her poor boyfriend, Lord, I tell you, she's doing him wrong. Tamara, I feel like, is not giving nothing but superficial. She's not wanting to go deep. I think the deepest that we saw Tamara on the feeling-wise was when her grandmother passed, okay? Um, I felt a little connection with her on that. So far this season, she is not showing a lot of her deepness especially when it comes to her and her relationships but anyway so gucci you know she showed up to help and to support okay next you go to the men you guys know i never go in order the men ojj and it was uh glenn and um zaddy which is cliff and they're at cliff's home um glenn made some deer jerky he wanted Cliff to taste it, and it was a gift for him, letting him hunt on his land. Um, and Cliff is enjoying the uh, deer jerky. Here comes Glenn. I don't know what it is about Glenn, but it's just something about him that irks me. Um, they are having a conversation about So Gucci and Latrice's deal on this building. So, uh, let, um, <laughs> JJ is telling him that it was messed up how, you know, uh, Latrice went with another realtor. And um, Cliff is telling him, well, it's business. Business is business. You can't take it personal. You know, if one realtor is slow on the move, then you have to go with the first person that comes with something that you like. He said, so Gucci wasn't so Gucci on this deal. I said, oh, you wrong for that, Cliff. And then, you know, um, JJ, he couldn't do nothing but laugh. Okay, it was funny. And then Glenn, you know, he's sitting there with his thousand chains around his neck instead of growing up and being more of a man and a father and a husband he had like he a rapper in these streets but that should neither here or there honey you know that is why you're in the hot seat seat by yourself because you're still living like you're 17 you're not okay but the scene with the men was so refreshing they were so funny i enjoyed it it's such a light <sighs> breather okay with these men okay um next we go um to so gucci's workout child i feel like this was a um filler scene <laughs> the boot camp uh latrice uh 
um, and everyone shows up. Okay, Le uh, Letitia's there. Tambra is the first one there. Then here comes Latrice late with Josh. Uh, Akeisha didn't show up. She's like, she's not coming. Akeisha ain't playing with Tambra. Uh, it is, to me, there's something deeper. Something else happened with her and Tambra. I'm not sure. But whatever it was, she's not ready for Tambra yet. And Tambra ain't ready for her. Okay? Because I feel like once they get together, it's going to be an explosion. All right? They're doing the workout. And then, so Gucci, because she has this issue with Latrice, calls Latrice out, talking about being late. Uh, Marie shows up late, of course, and she didn't say anything to her or Joy, Josh. Uh, so Gucci, don't make this a moment. It's not that. Just don't let this bother you. Don't let uh, Marie get in your head. Let this roll off your back and call it a loss. That's what you have to do, sis. You have to call this a loss. Okay? So, Latrice is sneaky. She can be snakish. Okay? Um, but, you know, unless they show us something different, I'm going by what production is showing, which sometimes can be a lie that, you know, um, so Gucci was trying to reach out, say she called and mm -hmm. Latrice didn't respond. She reciprocated by going with another broker or dealer and it just kind of hurt so Gucci's feelings, okay? And I get that. I get that. It looks snakish. Instead of Latrice could have picked up the phone and said, hey, I decided to go with another dealer because I really need to move this project. I apologize. But see, there was none of that conversation. So I get how so Gucci could feel like she was stabbed in the back okay so marie marie wants to have a conversation with tambra okay um about you know um everything that's transpiring but she did not want to have that conversation with latrice there because latrice was had her little radar ears stuck to the um <laughs> conversation so marie was like you know what we'll have this sometime later i just want you to know we need to have a conversation so that was pretty much it when it came to the um the uh boot camp okay Ugh. I'm telling you. Um, now let's let's talk about this baby shower, child. This baby shower was ghetto. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I am sorry, but where was the water? Where was the uh, refreshments? Okay, where was the decorations on the table? What what is going on? But anyway, everyone shows up. So Coochie shows up. Um, Marie, uh, Tambra, who is good friends uh, with the uh, baby, uh, her daughter's mother, or JJ's ex, um, and Latrice. They're also friends. Okay. And um, uh, Tambra as well, because Tambra says that she has promoted them on her station. And Latrice has supplied hair to the, you know, to the dancing dolls and all this. So I get it. I get why they are good friends. Okay. Um, they're there. Uh, everybody's showing up. Like I said, there's no water. Shots are fired when Gucci and JJ are in the... Uh, confessional Gucci said uh -huh, if this was a Gucci event honey it would have been you know 100% on fire in other words and here comes JJ you know saying well you know she's always late for something because she was late eight years on divorce okay y'all they throwing shots fired. I feel like there's something that has transpired between them or going to transpire. I see. Uh, but there's words that led up to this. So I'm anxious to see what was it that led up to this moment where they can sit in the confessional and actually, you know, go off. Okay. Um, it was a very good um, episode. Very refreshing. Um very light and not so dark okay um i am anxious to see you know what is going to happen with um 
Glenn and La, uh, Leticia. Um, I hope they work their things out, but Glenn looked like he just wants to be in the streets. Glenn act like he's 15 years old, and he act like he don't have a responsibility or a wife. So, uh, you know what? You know, it is what it is at this point. I do like Cliff. I'm sorry, y'all. Cliff and JJ are my two favorites. I feel like Cliff go hard for his family. And I think production is kind of making him look erratic, but he's not. Okay? I feel like there is a lot transpired to get Cliff where he is. Because normally, Cliff is kind of laid back into the back. He don't pretty much say nothing. He pretty much just, you know... Talk to her and like he did and you know, uh, he's old school. So you guys tell me what you think about this video. Like, share, and comment below. And remember you can always give to the channel through Cash App, Dollar Sign Teresa Lizzie 12, um, and Super Chat, Super Stickers. You guys, I will be going live around 1 o'clock p.m. So I look forward to seeing you there. Um, please, please, please share, comment, and Sign up for the channel. Subscriptions are free. Do that for me. And I will see you guys in a little while. Okay? It's going to be a lunch brunch full of crunch. All right. Bye.